starting recording now. Um, yeah. This is welcome to the fourth episode of like uh, my Let's Play series. Um, today we are gonna try to build Punk Populous. Um, and I might actually need to do an update video. So Quest for power coils? Yeah, yeah. You saw me like start streaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you guys are okay with like being in voice with me. Uh, oh, I don't stream. care. Yeah, I'm just asking to be polite. <laughs> uh, yeah, I understand. I guess I always assume, you know, talking on public comms that <laughs> somebody might be recording. Yeah, they might too. But still, you need to be polite about it, ask people. Uh, so basically, what's happened so far? Um, we decided on moving. So we have moved over to uh, Elapor. Um, found this cool location where we have like a lot of hovering mountains with gleams in it and yeah we moved over everything here uh, built some crafting stations um, oh yeah I like built completed a Detaining tools from the last time, uh, mine some, but yeah. This time I'm gonna focus on the power coils because I'm kind of need of them. So we have them here. Uh, you need to uh, get them off. Let's see here. Item crafting's here. You need the skill, uh, common power coin precepts, in order to be able to craft them, and the advanced one to craft advanced power coils. And then you craft it in the workbench. Um, so basically. When you're going up in like tiers of tools, when you're gonna do the uh, craft uh, gem tools, you're gonna need the, the power balls, the power to craft them. Um, you see, everywhere there is like power. Uh, so basic fuel doesn't need it, but improved fuel needs. And in order to craft them, you need like a lot of resources: iron, machine copper, diamond blocks. Oh my god, I'm gonna need like shitload of diamond. I'm probably gonna need 18 diamond blocks. Yeah, so I need to figure out how to mine the diamonds. Basically, Yvita. Yeah. How do you mine the diamond blocks now? The diamond uh, rough diamonds. Uh, well, you need at least a gold hammer or higher. <laughs> yeah, but where? It's on Anduin. Oh. And <laughs> but where? Anduin. And yeah. Anduin. Uh. Basically, in solid rock, uh, as deep as you can go. If you can get underneath, like, the lava table, it's usually even better. So, so down to Good the mount mantle? Yeah, I usually go, like, straight down the mantle and go up, like, a block or two. Just because it's kind of variable height and, you know, you want a chance to find them in the floor as well. So... So 
basically going from uh, titanium tools to gem tools is a pain in the ass. It's basically going from... Yeah, I always just skip titanium. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to like go full circle from like the beginning to the high tier. Because we're gonna do it sometime in the future when they're gonna restart, right? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. You don't know. I mean, the way I would do it is just you get. Skip it, done. I too. just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unless they make it easier, because, I mean, it's not that hard to just use iron tools for everything, have a gold hammer to get your gems. And then when you have enough gems, then you can, you know, make well, gem tools. <laughs> right now you get enough titanium to craft them. You didn't before, but now when you get increased drop rate, you actually get a lot of titanium. And there yeah. is actually ways to mine titanium really efficient. Oh, really? Yeah. With the, the Atlas or... Before the update, yeah, the... no, I did it before the update, and it's basically the same right now. Before the update, I got hundred and yeah, hundred fifty per two hours, I think. So, you still think it's worth it, even though you have to use silver and all that other annoying stuff? So that's not. what I found annoying is like you had all the extra smelting steps and other metals and yeah, because what it takes iron, silver, and titanium, it just seemed like too much of a pain in the butt to me. Yeah, that's true. And then you need a enrich bonding agent. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's the same, same as thing gym for... tools. Yeah, and that's a pain in the ass to make. Not worth it at all. Oh well, then I'm gonna just yeah. make a bunch of tools, I guess. Yeah, I think they should just make titanium like all the other um, alloys, basically. Where you just, you know, you, you take your ingots and you smelt it with what, okay, maybe silver ingots, but not alloy, because that seems kind of silly to make an alloy using an alloy. I don't know, but it's just too, too painful the way it is right now. But it's like, they're nice tools, they're just too painful to craft. I tried Cepris. What? <laughs> this pillar, it's it's just too much in the way. I'll I'll replace what I can when I'm done, but I'm tearing oh, it down no for problem. the time being. No problem. Maybe we could extend it and just attach it to the building. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the building's not tearing or cutting into it as much as I thought it would, but. I'm trying to build this corner, and it's like I can't see how to build it because the pillar's in the way. No problem. Oh, oh that pillar. On market? Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to chip away at it. I, I hollowed out a huge area underneath it. It's all, you know, just a cave right now, but you can have a basement at some point. Yeah, I've been fixing the price sheet. So it's almost done, or ready for use at least. Sweet. Victor. Yeah? Where do we have the tech remnant stuff and devices? Uh, right now they are in the workbench, but they should go over here. I just put him in a workbench. Okay. 
Oh. Yeah, but like, so best way to mine the, the diamond block uh, ore is like uh, buy some gem tools and then ship away on it. Um, I mean, if you want to. <laughs> you would just say um, like, mine I, with I did. iron tools. Well, with the with the new update, I guess it would be, unless they change the the density of them. But uh, before the update, I did a test using gem hammers, or diamond hammers, I mean, and I still got enough gems to replace what I used, and then some a little bit, but. I don't know. I was doing fine with iron tools, so. But yeah. now that you get more diamonds per node, uh, that method should work even better now. So. Well, okay. the problem I see with using iron, even though is the economic the cheapest, if you don't take in, in account your own uh, payment, I mean, it's you are investing time in it. And with any gem tool, it goes way faster than the iron one. True. Yeah, but I'm like... So if you take a diamond or emerald one, you kind of make a bigger tunnel. So you see more than discover more than you do with a iron one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's and spend more time. Yeah, it's, it's a matter of how much do you value your time. So, <laughs> and especially, like I said, now that you get more gems per block, um, it's just the last time I tried it, it was like, well, I spent most of what I got just using the hammers. You know, I still made, I still came out a little bit ahead, but it, I didn't feel it was really worth it at the time. But Well, maybe you should, should also take in account the rocks that you are harvesting, like the red ones and, well, the colored ones, they are four coins apiece, often. Well, I mean, if you're mining diamonds, then that's going to be all the homeworld colors. Yeah, so that's true. <laughs> if you're after yeah. rocks, there's a lot of easier ways to get rocks. <laughs> well, it's more like a byproduct that you can sell as well. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. That's kind of how you have to look at it. Is you know, you know, while I was only just coming out a little bit ahead on the diamonds, I still got coal and titanium and all that other stuff. So, yeah. But if you're looking at just the diamonds, you know, it's just my personal preference. I'm not trying to convince anybody. Like shuffling, are you doing that also with iron still? I go back and forth. Depends on what I'm doing. Since the update, I haven't actually gone digging for peat or anything like that. Just because, I don't know. I would like to use diamond, but I also don't want to use up my diamond tools. Because they're kind of annoying to craft now. That's a true, like, everything is a pain compared to what it was. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it'll make shops more important, I'm hoping. To just go ahead and sell what you mine and buy your tools from somebody that doesn't mind doing all the annoying steps and gathering all those materials. Yeah, that's the thing though. Like, it's gonna take time, because... All the old players have high tier things, right? A lot of it. Yeah, yeah, they they stocked up. <laughs> yeah, basically, if they were paying kind attention at least. <laughs> Did we uh, do that? No. Uh, um, but also, Where like, how did you get that hammer? I bought them. Thought you cheated. No, I bought them actually. 
You can check the video. Nah, Separus is gonna be pissed at me because I didn't bottom from him. <laughs> Why? Why don't you support the portal seekers? Because you're so freaking expensive. It's a way of living, man. It's a way of living. And if you don't want the nice living so, quality so wait, instead of, of stuff, instead of crafting your stockpile, you just bought them. Yeah, because I'm like trying to uh, play like other players would. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, on your your new character. Yeah, the Let's Play show. Uh, okay, so, I got you now. So I'm trying not to do too much. I've How is that for a bad a bit, but... advertisement that you, as portal seeker, are playing somewhere else? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you the difference in prices. Just because of that, Separate is probably like going and changing every prices right now. No, it's a way of living. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Well, you can live that way, but doesn't mean anybody else wants to pay that price. <laughs> okay, so you're 2,000 more expensive. Because it has an imaginary Portal Seekers logo on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, nobody cares about brand, they just want the performance. <laughs> where where did you buy your stuff, Victor? Uh, at Sly. Oh, Damn oh, you. It's, it's yeah. Sly expensive as well. Yeah, he's probably expensive too, but I didn't want to go and look. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's alright that Sly he's expensive, him. but... Yeah, there is cheaper. Nice. I think I think you can get them for three thousand five hundred or something. Uh, it depends on what you're buying, like the. Um, how much did you pay? Four thousand. Okay, okay. But the crafting cost for them right now is basically about two thousand eight hundred or something. I think. Where am I going? I'm going to... I'm a bit lost. I need to go to... Anduin. So I was on Anduin. Cool. Okay, so we have a huge area over here. But I'm not gonna go there. Otherwise, I wouldn't be like needing to buy them because we have like I don't know two filled crafting tables with smart stacks of sapphire hammer. Isn't that so, Cyprus? No, I sold everything. Really? <laughs> well, then we have the money to buy like everything in the game because you're so expensive. Right. Well, I think I think, I think I, I've, yeah. I think I can raise the price on Igneous blocks since only we can sell black uh, blocks. 
You mean because like everyone is selling, everyone else is selling purple block? What purple? Are, what do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> but you think it's black, so it's black. Yeah, it's purple. It's black. It's the closest thing Boundless has to black, other than coal. Still black. It's the... Hey, Simon. I'm saying it's like... The... What's it called? The lightning? Lighting? That's coloring it. Yeah, so uh, on Turka we have uh, purple lining. I don't know. Well, what, which color is metamorphic rock? <laughs> metamorphic? Yeah, it's purple. Which color is it on Turka? On Turka it's white. All right, so, and we presume that metamorphic rock is white, right? Well, gray. Yeah, kind of gray. But if you put a uh, amethyst torch to it, it kind of turns pink. All right, but all right. What do you presume that is the most widest or uh, colorless light in boundless? Diamond. Uh, white gleam. Diamond. All right. So if we put uh, the igneous rock in a black room where it's dark, no sunshine, and use a um, diamond torch, it will be gray? Or will it still be purple? You can test it. <laughs> I think we all know the answer, Virus. It's supposed to be black. <laughs> Javita, when is that interview with James? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to uh, ask that to James. Oh, <laughs> he's just gonna say it's purple, because, I mean, it is. Is it a? Do we need to like take a screenshot and then use a paint program to like sample the color to show you that it's purple? <laughs> no, then we'll then uh, Fire says it's the light. I love you, Fire. Oh, are you talking about feelings now? <laughs> <laughs> you are calling it shite. <clears throat> Do you have like different graphics settings? Maybe you can send us a screenshot. Maybe you have some setting where it looks black on yours. Do you have some kind of color blindness? No. Uh, actually, it's uh, if you go to different like. Um, if you take the igneous stone um, and put it in the shadow, no, yeah, kinda. <laughs> um, well, in some places it's actually black. In the light or in the shadow? Uh, and also, I would say, have you ever tested to remove the pixel lightning? In the settings? No. Is that what you play with? I don't know. No, no I'm I not have. playing with it, but 
does like without the uh, lighting effect on the block so you get the texture and stuff just so so what you're saying is under very specific circumstances it appears to be black yep <laughs> okay well you could take just about any color and under very specific circumstances make it look like some other color yeah but then like People said the <laughs> metamorphic rock uh, from Nashville was looking more black than purple, and I'm totally against that. Metamorphic from Nashville looks black? No. <laughs> it's, it's like a bolder purple than even igneous. Well, I got to go. I shall post... Uh... Didn't we already do that? We gotta go AFK for a bit. See y'all later. Can I see you? Simon, so, you gonna hold the uh, hunt today? Yep, I already sent out the notification. Cool. I'm AFK too. Basically, find find the direction we want to mine into. So I think this way would be good. Oh yeah, uh, this is mantle, and that's like bedrock in Minecraft. You can't dig through it. Where? Oh crap! Sorry. I pushed the wrong button, I guess. Tucked into the stream. Uh, yeah. Let's just keep going until we find some diamonds.
so I can get back to him. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's try and get up to top and then um, find the region so we can see it on the map, Atlas, and then go back.
let's hope it works. Okay, guys. Oh, you reach out, you're still there? Oh. I'm here, at least. Kind of like the diamond is the hardest, one of the hardest uh, gems to get. Okay.
Let's see now how many I got. 19? That's nothing. more like it, but like, I'm gonna find all those tiny spots with all the diamonds, I don't know. Probably got at least enough 
four to pay back for the, the sapphire hammers. Titanium, yay! No clue what I'm gonna use it for. Well, I could use it for. Like, I'm gonna need it for the uh, power points, the advanced power points sooner or later. But I'm gonna need so much more diamond, like. Yeah, I'm gonna mine for so many days. Wait, you only need like... if I should actually like build the advanced oh. ones instead.
How's it going? Uh, I found 29 of the diamond. Rough yes, diamonds. Yay, diamond! Hey, hello, beastie, beast slayer nine nine one. You're playing boundless. Right now I'm like trying to find diamonds uh, if you haven't been watching too long. Um, yeah, I'm not really certain this is the best way to do it, but I find some diamonds at least. Diamonds, yay! And the reason why I need diamonds is I need to build something called power coil, coil. and the power coil is something needed for crafting. Oh, you just got it? Cool. What level are you? Hmm. I got like six titanium. Oh. I, have... I, didn't, I, I didn't find so much. Yeah, I have 31. Nice. I was just down, like, looking for something, seeing if it respawned in the cave, like, near the cave base. Yeah, that's the problem, like, like, like you, you can't keep mining at the same place. And that might also be a reason why... Sorry, uh, I pushed the wrong button so you can do it. Um, yeah, I have 31 uh, titanium. Nice. And that's like the reason why you need to switch uh, <gasps> places where you mine so it can generate for a week and then you go back. And mine. Yeah, that makes sense. So. Do you need the copper bars? I 
think we're gonna need them. What, what are you thinking on? Nah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna make some... Uh, no, um, I'm, uh, I need to use up the spark in my cave base, or my uh, mining base. Yeah. So I was thinking about yeah. use, you know, to make big leaf lanterns, but I'll just farm some copper. It's yeah, so you much just content. do whatever you want. I probably have enough to make anything I want. Yeah, I'll do spawn on this. There's like so much copper on my uh, my base. from Jose? Myself, I'm from uh, Sweden. So. Do you like the game so far? Hey, diamonds again! Yeah. Oh my god, wonder how many I need.
so I'm probably gonna need to tend her. Ten diamonds per impact. I think. I'm not totally certain because I'm looking on the mass craft. Diamonds, yay! Oh, even more diamonds, yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, it seems like I found a good spot now. if you find the power cord, I guess. Or the gems. But if you want to do it yourself, you could actually, like, advance quite fast into high tier. If you just know how to do it.
Are you gonna join the hunt today? Mm, maybe. When is it? Uh, one hour, I think. Mm, I don't know, maybe. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna join. But I'm not gonna lead it today, so... See. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, I found about oh seventy-five diamonds now. That's nice. Yeah, it seems like all of a sudden I got way more uh, like a hot spot uh, with the diamonds. So I found many more. Very nice.
I'm kind of wondering if I should like start a coal shop. Yeah, that might be a thing. Because there, there are a few people selling coal, but it's like really expensive. The question is, shouldn't I like just put it in the shop already? Kind of involved in. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's kind of a bit weird having two shops. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That was 
Das sind meine. What? Yeah, I guess. Hello. Hello? Sorry. Jivita. So, Jivita, I have a question yeah. for you. Like, okay, so let's say you mine. Um, on mountain. Then it's Amethyst, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. And. The drop rate is increased because it's a level 3 planet. But when you mine on. Oh. And, a, <laughs> and a whim, it's a level 2 planet, so you only get like a lower drop rate. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah. So basically, I've gotten. Mostly one. I have full, almost full. Uh, 80, 90 uh, luck, right? So I should get quite a good increased drop rate, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I still get like one gem from each block. Uh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I get two, but it not it's not very often. And very, yeah. So I think like some of the gems is gonna be really hard to get, like the diamonds, just because they are on level two planets. Well, I mean, I don't know diamonds are arguably. You know, after rubies, maybe the easiest to get by mining, but you know. Yeah, that's true. But I guess, I guess, compared to, you know, other gems that you now can get extras. I don't know. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's maybe like, now harder than some of the others, basically. Because, like a sapphire, you can get one to three, right, on a level three planet, on natural. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, hopefully when they add new planets, there'll be more planets to get gems from, basically. So yeah. maybe a tier 3 option to get diamonds from. Because, I mean, otherwise, I don't know. I mean, it's like almost like for gems, it'd be nice if they make a special exception. Like, okay, if you're buying gems, you get the maximum, but then... You know, if they had like tier four planets or something with gems, then it's like, well, shouldn't we get more gems from those planets? So, 
Just kind of sucks for the time being, I guess. Yeah, it's just a bit odd since you kind of need more diamonds than the other ones. out of sapphire I'm giving up here uh, but basically I have like almost gotten a hundred gems today and that's about in one hour I guess a bit more I totally forgot, we are not on uh, Perk anymore, we are on the poor. Yeah, I've added a lot of stones to you, uh, to the base. Ooh. I mean rock. Yeah, I'll just turn stone. Does the uh, crafting table count as a machine? It doesn't, right? Uh, so the achievement is crafting table instead. Uh, you can also craft wood by your hand and get achievements by that way.
Okay, I'm gonna end the stream right now. Um, thank you for this episode. I'm gonna rename it, of course, because it's probably gonna need to be named for as hunting for diamonds, I guess. Um, but so far, we have like mined diamonds uh, in order to be able to craft the uh, uh, what's called workbench power coil and I think I'm gonna need quite a few of those like that's just 500 spark and in order to be able to craft the other one I'm probably gonna need 1500 I don't know so that's 15 of them In order to be able to craft that, I'm gonna need. Oh, do we have the compactor. Oh, I can't compact it. Oh, yeah, no. So basically, I'm gonna probably going to need to level again. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to shut off the stream now. Uh, I'm. I'll be back later with a hunting stream, I think. Um, so see you guys later. Uh, it's it's the hunt is in 30 minutes, so yeah, back on them. Bye.